uh, being in public life and having a wife uh, who is a full-time uh, professional is perhaps, I must admit, a rare combination. But it has worked out great for us. Uh, she pushes me on and I push her on. And uh, both of us uh, complement each other in many ways. She uh, is very affable and uh, uh, she covers a lot for me. And uh, so it's worked out perfect. Uh, I couldn't have asked for anything better. Um, I guess it's the same answer on my side. Uh, but I think uh, Krishna pushes me more than I push him. <laughs> so um, I, it's a lot of support, honestly. I don't think I would be able to do it. Um, uh, in fact, uh, when I have you know, thoughts about wanting to quit and, and, and do something else, uh, Krishna is the one who asks me to stay grounded, uh, to do what I you know, have to do for myself. Uh, to have my own career and uh, do well at it. So it, it, it really helps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the style of functioning is the same, whether it's at home or at work. Um, uh, and, and, and there's a lot of uh, emphasis on uh, quality in whatever you do. So if it means you're cooking a small meal, it better be the best meal that you know, you're cooking. Uh, if you're doing a small piece of work, it better be the best thing that you can deliver. So it's the same thing. Uh, work and home, uh, no differentiation. The same rules apply. Um, he's really crazy about being fit. <laughs> he takes it very, very seriously, right? Um, I think the other thing, which I think most people know, but um, I I mediocrity really upsets him. You know, he, he really aspires to be, um, you know, something of quality and he expects the same uh, from, you know, other people, which then, you know, begins the sense of irritation that, okay, you're not giving it your best shot. Um, and I think uh, he's also a very, very, uh, he loves family time, uh, which I think most politicians, I mean, there's a general tendency that people think, you know, politicians don't uh, enjoy family time. I, I see him, he's the happiest when he's around his family, his sisters and brothers, his mother, with me, with my family. So uh, I think, you know, these are the three things. Yeah. You did say anything about my temper? <laughs> well... <laughs> Yes, and there is his temper. It is uh, quite ruthless, um, and sometimes it's it's our party, you know, uh, uh, people, and then it's me. So that's why he's saying the, the 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 management. They come to me and they say he should not be screaming like this, and yeah. But you know, I guess the temper is because of the quality aspect. What was the first point you said? Quality. Uh -huh. Quality. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think with respect to women, you know, <laughs> or, or, or gender equality, um, the one thing is, you know, uh, it, it's again, it's not gender, uh, you know, equality for the sake of gender equality, right? Um, I believe that, you know, uh, you know, women should come, fo come forth and, and gather all of the opportunities that they have. But then we also have people who aren't given those opportunities. So then there's this, you know, there's, there's no parity there. So that's where you need to provide that helping hand or the support and, 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 and that's very much needed. So um, th that would be the first thing. So wherever it's possible for us to empower, you know, people who really have the talent uh, to do well, um, they just need that push and, and that, that's, that's, that's who we are seeking for all of the time, right? So that would be the first one. And then, uh, definitely in today's, you know, India, um, there is an increasing sense of insecurity. Uh, there's, there's a sense of, you know, uh, you know, women feeling very, very unsafe. So uh, definitely one of the things is to try and keep our neighborhood safe, to keep our children safe more than anything else. It's not just women. It could be anybody, you know, today um, to keep them safe. So I think those would be the two things that, that would really, you know, resonate well. 
uh, for today's you know day and and what we're seeing around us and i think i've said a couple of things i i, I always ask him to uh, be a little bit more empathetic to some of these things <laughs> um because again you know i think krishna comes from uh he he believes you know again that the, the it's 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 the meritorious and you know that type <laughs> of thing right so uh but you know empathy needs to play a role there because everybody doesn't have the same opportunity yeah on uh, women and uh, gender uh, equity issues uh well there has to be a level playing field there is no doubt about it but having said that i also believe that uh, normally men or any other segment uh, is not charitable and uh, to hope that the society will somehow the men will be more equitable and they will provide access and uh, access to opportunities in a male dominated society would be wishful thinking it will happen the change is happening but it will be slow so the onus is on women to push themselves and to not let go of opportunities and to yes the i admit there is a higher benchmark for women to prove themselves but the torch bearer generation has to push prove themselves and open the gates for other women and i think uh, uh, indian women i i'm very passionate about this subject uh, uh that our society must have more women's participation in all walks of life but it does require women to push themselves through prove themselves and open more opportunities for other women so while we can expect the male dominated society to change its ways and open doors in the meantime i think uh, women also ha uh, ha cannot wait women have to push themselves outlook comes up it's a good question um so i, I I never I mean uh, so to see this is this is interesting because the the India that you know uh was we met in uh, possibly 1997 right and at that time uh if you seriously asked me I don't think we ever thought about a uh, cultural identity other than being an Indian really or the the other cultural identity that was so uh, close to our heart was you're from a city like uh, we are both Bangaloreans more than anything else right we are from Bengaluru like then it was Bangalore but uh okay i'm from the south of bangalore and he's from the north of bangalore but he's from kolar but you know uh, pretty much his family had settled down actually the east right yeah. like it was indranagar at the time so that was the cultural identity that uh, that that was when we met it wasn't uh, you know really if i came from a certain caste or a background and he came from i i didn't even know he was a politician or or he came from a political back he wasn't a politician then <laughs> but i didn't even know he came from a political background and neither did he know what my dad did i don't think so right yeah. so um interestingly you know it's been a journey now and uh, i'm i'm still struggling to uh, figure out these different you know sections and you know how we fit in culturally but uh, india has changed today you know i think today people are becoming far more aware of you know who they are and what they represent and um it's 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 pretty sad is what i i feel so i i really enjoyed the india of 1997 if you ask me <laughs> when we didn't care where we came from other than the fact that we are indian and we are from the same city so we discussed uh the best places to eat uh the best places to hang out uh you know and uh, it was all about uh, identity of the city more than anything else right yeah, yeah. No, she has said it so better, so I don't think I got anything to add. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, we are, we are, we were, we are from uh, both from the same city, and uh, we had briefly met once in Bangalore uh, before I went to US, and. Uh, so then uh, i think a year later she came to us and uh, so since you know indian students were well networked 
uh, in US, especially those from Bangalore. Um, so we ended up somehow all the Bangaloreans uh, getting together and then we met again in US. Yes, that's exactly how it was. 